It's one of the smallest verses. It says, they said to him, Lord, come and see me. It's actually the smallest verse. Verse 35 says, Jesus wept. Jesus wept. And I think sometimes we forget, the Bible says, we don't have a high counselor who is not able to sympathize with our weaknesses. Glory. I don't know who's here today that needs to hear this, but when you were going through that time and that season in your life, when you cried on that pillow at night, I want you to know that Jesus wasn't only there, but Jesus wept with you. Jesus cries with you. How do I know that? The Bible says that he mourns with those who mourn. Yes. So while you're weeping, while the country is weeping, and while the country is mourning, Jesus mourns with you. Yes. He feels what you feel. He's gone through what you've gone through. You're not alone in any of this. But it's not over yet. Verse 38. Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead for four days. Sometimes when we don't see breakthrough in an area of our life or a prayer hasn't been answered or somebody that we loved has hurt us in some way or another, we just lay a stone over that area of our life. And we allow whatever that dream was, whatever that hope was, whatever that prayer was to die. But Jesus is coming along today and he's saying to you in your seat, he's saying, remove that stone. That thing that you used to think was dead, that relationship you used to think wasn't available to you anymore, that dream you used to have, used to have he's saying, listen, he's saying, listen, listen remove the remove stone, the because stone if you give me the opportunity to speak into that thing, it will come alive again. Why? Because Jesus is the only one who's able to speak to dead things and to make them, and to come, make alive. them come alive. But we put a stone over it. You, you, you can talk about my relationship with my dad, but don't bring up my mom that's in my past. You, you, you can bring up my future, but don't, don't touch my past. I, I put a stone over it. Don't touch that. Don't go there. Jesus saying, listen, listen, if you just let me speak into it, if you just let me touch that area, I'll take that very thing that the enemy tried to keep dead and make it come alive again in your life. Let Jesus remove the stone. Let the stone... He rolled away.